so I thought I'd do like an embarrassing period story. I don't know what possessed me to make that decision, but I was like, ooh, why don't I tell a story about my period? Why? I don't know. Maybe because I have it right now. Little TMI, but who cares? I done told you. So too bad and I'm not cutting that part out so just deal with it um but so an embarrassing period story so first off let me just give you a little bit of background my period should should we call her Patricia my friend Patricia likes to come in town like whenever she wants like it'll be like she comes in town this month then she comes in town next month and then I don't see her for like a year or it'll be like she comes in town this month and then I don't see her for like another three months and then she comes back. Like, you know, she just, she doesn't tell me when she wants to drop by like this. And I've had like my friend Patricia visiting me for like five years and it's been like this like my whole life, you know, it's just all my life I had to fight with my damn period. Like it's just, it never tells me. So it was once upon a time, like, while well, I was still in high school, so about like six months ago, I think, yeah. Um, I was, was this before, let me tell you, I think this was, this was the week before prom, okay. Because I had, I went to a fitting and like, it was like the next day, cause I had the fitting, what, Saturday or Sunday? I think I had the fitting Sunday cause I had school the next day cause this is when it happened. Um, and it was like the week of prom, like prom was that Saturday and this was the Monday starting that week. And I didn't know, you know, when Patricia was visiting me cause she hasn't, she hadn't visited me for like two months. So I was at school and all of a sudden my stomach started to hurt. So I was like, oh, probably have a period, whatever. But I hadn't had it in like three months, maybe even four, a while. It had been a while, like at least two, but I'm betting it was like almost four because um, it was a long time. So I was like, oh yeah, don't I just like put a pad on? Like I forgot what to do. Like I even, you're gonna laugh at me. I watched Whaley's video on how to put on tampon because I had forgotten like, I, cause it'd been so long that I was like, oh right. There's like pain in my chest, you know, or in my lower regions, in my nether world. Um, so I like was like, oh, I'll just put a pad on whatever. Like who cares? I don't remember how to use this tampon thingy. So just stick that on and go on about my day. So I was, you know, I went to first period and about like halfway through first period and mind you, I had, um, I had technical theater. So I didn't have dance that day. Thank God. Um, cause I would have, we had different classes, like an A day schedule, which was four classes and then a B day schedule, which was four classes. Um, and on my A days I had like technical theater and like English and math. And then on my B days I had like dance and musical theater, um, and Spanish class. So it was an A day and I remember because we were supposed to do like stuff out in the shop like building things but yo girl ain't here for that so I was just sitting down you know looking unimpressed as usual and all of a sudden like the pain down there was just so bad and I was like what is going on so I asked like the girl next to me like oh it just hurts a lot and she was like because you have cramps and I was like but I didn't remember this like this shit is crazy like it felt like I don't know like it just it felt like there was like a war going on like in my nether regions like I feel like uh, like all the war in Iraq was just right there like it was so it hurt a lot and like mine is really bad <laughs> I don't know about anyone else but like I felt nauseous like I was gonna throw up like it was just terrible so I asked the girl like oh you have some ibuprofen she doesn't have some I go to the girl who's known to have drugs not like that like known to have like medicine and she's a cool person I mean I like her so if she did have drugs I'd be okay with it <laughs> like she's cool um and she was like no girl sorry I go to someone else and she's like no so I asked by that point I've asked all the girls in the room and none of them have like ibuprofen so I'm like oh I'm gonna die so I go I tell my teacher like oh I'm sick blah blah, blah. I'll leave the room I mean I don't really think he even knew I left the room but like it's okay what is he gonna do when he finds out like who gonna check me though um so I go to the front office and I'm like ah mm, cramp don't want to do this and thankfully our um receptionist was a lady so I just told her like the attendance lady was a lady so I was just like hey it hurts I'm gonna sign myself out because I'm 18 and I'm in pain and she was like ooh 
but we have to have like notification from your parent too even though like you're 18 because people just been signing themselves out for no reason and people's attendance have been screwed up so I'm like ah ooh feel like a baby's coming let me just call my dad real quick so I call my dad my dad's like eh uh, of course leave and he tells the lady on the on like he tells the attendance lady like yeah she should go and then all of a sudden she's like oh wait no I need to check in again so she goes and calls like the vice principal and the vice principal comes in the room and then she calls the principal and then the principal comes in the room so by this point the vice principal knows that I'm cramping like hell thankfully they're all women um the principal knows that I'm cramping like hell thankfully she's lady too and miss um oh I almost said her real name the um the lady that does like not attendance but she does like your school records like your transfer like if you have to transfer schools or something all your school records are there she comes in the room because we're all talking and she's like "Ooh, what's the tea like she wants to know what the gossip is so by this point there's six women in the room me included and you know thank god I'm so happy that they're all ladies because just imagine me being like if it was like a guy being like yeah I'm cramping <sighs> Anyway, so it's all ladies and I'm like, okay, a baby is coming. It hurts. I don't want this. This is painful. I feel like I'm going to throw up and all of you being in my face about it is not helping at all. I just want some drugs and I'm trying to do this the right way instead of just leaving school like everybody else does. Um, you know, I'm trying to do it the right way. So basically they um finally like they deliberate and I felt like I was on like the voice or something or like American Idol where they're all deliberating on what they're gonna do or freaking like I don't know America's Next Top Model like which picture do I choose you know it was just like like they had all these options and I'm like I need to go it hurts what are we doing so finally after much deliberation it felt like forever but it was probably like a minute maybe less they were like sure you can go so I sign out I walk out and mind you my school was in a ghetto neighborhood but I didn't care like that didn't deter me even though like people had been like you know like there had been reports of students getting robbed at gunpoint and like people getting stabbed in the neighborhood but I did not care I was like don't mess with me okay it hurts I'm emotional and I will kill somebody okay I will kill you if you try me mind you so I get outside I didn't have any money on me I think like one of my friends in tech class um gave me a dollar but I didn't know the, the attendance lady she gave me a dollar because she was like "Ooh, I know how you feel and I told her I didn't have any money she's like well here's the dollar I hope it helps which was very nice of her um and then I get out and I see a girl and I only knew her because we had maybe a class or two together over the years plus her last name is the same as mine so it's like oh we have something to bond over hey girl can you spot me some money so she was taking the city bus so I already knew she must have had change because the city bus you know you have to pay with change or like with well it's like to it's like a dollar and ten cents or like two dollars and ten cents so you have to have some form of change on you you know so she was like yeah here's like some extra money that I'm not using for the bus fare and I was like thank you so she gave me like a dollar well I already had the dollar and then she gave me like 12 cents so or like 13 it was an odd number but anyway I walk down the road it's taking forever it feels even though the walk isn't really that long but it just feels like it and I'm walking and I'm holding my purse and I'm like ooh, I am not here for it somebody try me Ooh, like I'm just I have anger on my face and I'm looking I'm scowling as I'm walking and finally I make it into family dollar I pay for it I well I find it I pay for it it was like a dollar and like seven cents so I just made it because I was like oh god I only have a dollar and twelve cents and this says it's like 99 cents what if the tax is really high then I won't be able to pay for it or like even if it's just like one cent over but thank god it was only a dollar and seven cents I know exactly because <laughs> Whew. Um, so then finally I walk back I make it like I did I make it back to campus yet no I walk back you know I'm feeling confident I take one of the pills on my way there and I come back into class and I go to my English class because that's the next class I was supposed to have that I was late to and I sign myself back in and you know I sit down and I see my friends and this is where I'm getting the work that I missed while I was gone and I just feel so confident because I'm like oh yeah handle my business I was cramping I fixed it I am grown I'm a grown woman like I just felt like Beyonce and I was like try me if you want 
Um, but yeah, that is my embarrassing period story. It was just the cramps were awful and I had to, you know, let them know. But I have like so many embarrassing period stories. Like if you want to know, because it's so sporadic or like, and it happens like at the drop of a hat, like I could have it today and not have it for a year. Like it's, it's very sporadic or like not see it for like another six months. So if you want more stories, trust me, I got them. Um, and they're all factual too, girl. You could check. You could check my receipts. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you like this video. Let me know if you had like an embarrassing story. It doesn't have to be period related, but you know, if you want to share. Um, but if nothing else, subscribe because every time you subscribe, the world becomes a little bit more fabulous and I get popping, popping. And you know you want me to be popping like if I was popping I would have like been had ibuprofen with me or at least some form of like painkiller because it was intense um but yeah that is gonna do it for me follow me on all social media at arian321 on snapchat twitter vine instagram tumblr but especially like snapchat and, and instagram because I'm on there the most you know I treat the other ones like they're my side chick like I treat twitter like it's a side chick like I'm there but you won't know it <laughs> you know spend time with it but like you'll never see um but yeah that is it um thanks for watching bye, -bye.